Hello everyone, my name is Josue, I'm technician, professor and doctor and today I would like to invite you to a journey, a journey into this path here to understand what are human factors. Human factors, it's not only the plural of human factor, it's more than that. It's a comprehensive and multidisciplinary approach regarding the understanding of the human element in the job-related issues. Let's understand that together here in this class. The first thing that I would like to talk about is something that Rachel Gordon brings in 1998, that human factors uh, must see how organizational issues um, are integrated with human performance and the job itself. It's important because it was one, one of the first to understand that human factor is not only to focus on the individual uh, in the work, but from him, from her, understand how things happen and how these integrated thing, things could affect our performance. Few time later, FEA, an aeronautical safety department in the United States uh, showed us that it's a multidisciplinary effort. It means I'm engineer, but there is psychologists, there is ergonomists, there is all other profession that can not only contribute but help to wider our perspective, understanding human factors. And take a look on that: the equipment, the system, the software technological issues, they are integrated in the workplace and then can influence our behavior. Yes, so we are starting to see here that human factors is indeed something that is more integrated and more wider than just focus on the human element. It's more than that. It's a wider perspective from the human element. In this way, EOGP uh, on 2018 showed us that human factors are simply those things that can influence what people do, what we do. And once more, the organizational issues have an important role in this understanding. And in fact, we present here that human factors are all factors that can influence human performance in their work activities. Our performance, my friends. These factors act together, integrated, and maybe technological, environmental, organizational, and individual, among others. So, in this sense, we can understand that the control panel screens are an example of human factors. Oh, come on, come on, just wait. Control panel is something completely technological. It's it's not human factor. Yes, indeed. If you could just for a while stop for a second and see your television back in the past in 1991, for instance, and today in 2020s, can you see how the evolution goes on that and how complex it was? Firstly, just a press a button or a remote control, and today there is international and etc. etc. So technological issues, yes, do affect our performance. And besides that, something related to work as the working hour, manager pressure, the rules, the internal rules of a company, the culture of a company it makes very important influence on the human performance and must be analyzed. And also, environmental issues like noise, vibration, temperature. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a Brazilian, but uh, I worked for a while in Sweden and I could see the different temperature in the weather. And my performance was different between these two countries because environmental issues. So, take a look. So far, we have not talked about the human element, the worker. So far, we have talked about 
a lot of issues, a lot of elements, a lot of factors, instead the individual factor, that can influence a work performance. So, when we talk about human factors, it's a wider perspective to understand from the human element what can affect his or her performance. In fact, this approach, the human factors approach, as we can see in this uh, Foundation of Safety Science book from Professor Sidney Decker, is the evolution of uh, safety itself in the work. The, in this book, it's, it's, very, it's very didactic to see how the evolution of safety happens in this evolution of complex interactions in the workplaces. And in the second book, Safety 1 and Safety 2, from Professor Eric Honaigo, we can see how uh, uh, we can practice this approach in workplace and how we can understand and enhance our vision regard human factors. And you may uh, uh, ask yourself, okay, it's a good theory, it's a good approach, it, it, it has it, it, its knowledge, but why should I know that? I, I have no reason at all. But if you stop for a second and see that the complex of your workplace has increased over time, maybe this approach will help you. Sometimes we are closing in our boxes, we are closing in our offices, uh, understanding and saying and knowing that things happen A to B very linear, very smooth, very normally. And actually our normal is something a little bit different. We have to open this door, my dear friends, and understand how the complexity of our workplace has increased over time and with this complexity, just blame the worker for something when happens wrong is not enough to understand what really happens. We have to wider our perspective and understand that some other factional factors like organizational factors, environmental factors, technological factors, and not forget the individual, of course, can affect our performance and can deliver different things that we have been expected in our work. Only enhancing our understand, we can really understand the complexity of our current workplace. The ergonomics theory of work as done and work as imagined help us very easily to go through this path. But nowadays, we know that it's not enough. We have to understand that there is a little bit more of interfaces in our work. So, when we see the human factors approach, we may say that it's something very natural that happened when happened the evolution from simple to complex in our workplace. And in that evolution, not every situation is written. If you could remember uh, this landing on Hudson River, was something that never happened before and it was on and human abilities based on human abilities but also technological equipments embedded in an organizational culture and in a different environment that happened take a look in this very small phrase we can see the four main dimension of the human factors approach because in this understand, we clearly see that our nature of resilience is something that helped us in this event in the Apollo 13 and in a lot of events that happen right now in this moment. Right now, in this moment, is exactly the work that happens, that make things happen in the work. So, it doesn't make sense when something happens wrong, just blame him or her. We have to understand better that. So, we have to understand better situations like this. When the Ever Given ship uh, stopped at Suez Canal, one of the first things that I saw in television was uh, 
the the authorities are investigation for the human error. No, it's it's we are we are in this twenty one century. We have blamed people for more than one hundred years regarding uh, workplace accident, and so far we not have learned very much doing this. So let's understand that the complexity of workplaces embedded in very high technology in different environmental uh, places and with organizational roles, issues, culture make even more complex the interactions between workers and systems. So it's, it's needed a, an approach that could understand these interactions and give to us a wider perspective of what is happening. That's the human factor approach. Never forgetting that it's not only focus on the human element, but from him, from her, have a wider perspective of what is happening. Understand that the individual always will be there, but some organizational elements, technological elements and environmental elements could influence our work, our performance. And once we understand that, we will have more assertive uh, answers for the questions when an accident like this happens. And in this presentation, I would like to uh, say to you that if uh, we call, could call us a system, we are the most complex at all. So, doesn't make sense uh, uh, no, not counting on this on workplaces and to do some jobs in the world. So, analyzing this, that we are the most complex at all, it's clear for me that we are not the problem. We are the solution. Not only here in our uh, jobs, but everywhere in our houses, even outside Earth in the space, as was Apollo 13 issues happens. So, I'd like to invite you to widen your perspective, understand the human factors approach. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video. Hey, do.